Obadiah Melafia is dead. Seeks for forgiveness from Unam de Kanu over Biafran War before he died. Age of four reveals. If I in age of four cancel to Unam de Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo has reacted to the death of Obadiah Melafia the former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. A Jufu said, Melafia sought for forgiveness, peace and reconciliation for what Nigeria did to the Igbos during the Biafran Civil War. He also disclosed that the former presidential candidate wanted the middle belt to apologize to the Igbo over their role during the Biafran War. In a series of tweets, a Jofo wrote, The sad news of the sudden demise of Dr. Melafia hit me with a great shock. I could not believe it until I made a call to close contact who confirmed it was true. Hmm. What is life? But fleeting moments. Today, we are here. Tomorrow, we are no more. Permit me to say that Dr. Melafia is a fine gentleman who stood on the side of the truth. He was well read and a man of the letters who was bold to persuade the people of the Middle Belt to tender an apology to the Eagles, most especially to Mazinam the Kano, the freedom fighter, for the role they played against the Biafrans during the Civil War. It was a horrible experience. For the people of the southeast the massacre is better imagined than experienced our people lost the battle after three years due to the roles played by her neighbors torture rape starvation illness and diseases ravaged our people and our neighbors never lifted a finger to help they rather joined forces with the oppressors and unleashed terror on our land it is now history yet that history is being subdued so that present and future generation are not aware of the evil done to their forefathers yet dr melafia even though of the northern extract stood out and acknowledged the ills done to the evils and sought for forgiveness, peace, and reconciliation. This is the truth example of sportsmanship. It often said that good people don't last. A red gem is lost. We cannot question God because He alone gives and takes when it pleases. So Melafia is dead. Obadiah Melafia is dead. I want to believe that a lot of us knows Obadiah Melafia. It is that same deputy, former deputy governor of CBN, that revealed the truth. The truth of who are the sponsors. Of the Boko people. He is the first to reveal it. The first man to reveal it. He was the one that gave Nigerians the clue, the Igbos the clue, the world the clue. He was the one that revealed it. All the why everybody has been looking and watching and be saying, Who are the sponsors? We don't know the region, we don't know the person, we don't know the people. We don't know if it's, a, if, the, if it's an Igbo man. We don't know if it's a Yoruba man. We don't know if it's a Nortana. But Obadiah Melafia came up and revealed the region for us so that finding them is going to be easy. But then, doing that, I tell you, this administration wasn't happy. They were not happy. So they tried all that they could to see how to kill Obadiah Melafia. Hmm. They started inviting him to DSS custody over and over and over and over and over and over. You know, 
So Melafia saw that as a threat, immediately he raised alarm. Raising alarm, <laughs> nobody told the DSS to withdraw. Nobody told them to withdraw. But then, we have lost him. We have lost Obataya, the man of truth. Look at, he even still went on to apologize to the Igbos for the pains inflicted on them during the Biafran War. No, no amount of beg and apology can be, can, can, be, can be presented that will ease off the pains that the, the, that, that the federal troop inflicted on the Igbos during the Biafran War. That is what Namdekano thinks about, thinks about when these God forsaken people will come and say that you should abandon Biafran freedom. Hmm. It's not just pains, but starvation. That is why to this very moment, go on, we always say that Igbos, we are sorry. How I wish I can be able to change the hands of the clock. <laughs> go on happens to be the chief architect of the whole show of the pains the Igbos passed through in the southeast during the Biafran War. Go on happens to be the one. He initiated all the strategies. He was the one that brought the idea of starving the Igbos that with starvation they will start dying one after the other. And now he's now saying that Igbos, I am sorry. Hmm. Obadaya, I will say that your death is a very painful one. I won't lie to you. It's, it, it, it also pained me that it's a broadcaster because many a times you have been my very good fans in this uh, broadcasting industry. Seeing any of your content, I'm always moved to broadcast them because I know that those contents will definitely contain truth. So we are, we are going to lose you and we're going to miss you. It's very painful anyway, but I know that all is well. Very much well. I personally wish you a happy repose. Yes, I wish you a happy repose. And for those who doesn't know Obadiah Melafia, I've given you a little of him. Please, make do with it. So please, let me hear from you outside to know what you have to say. Please don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.